Dude, I can't get this faucet to stop leaking. I've been doing this for hours. But can't you just like tape it up and call it a day? No, Jackson, I can't just leave it, all right? I gotta fix this thing. Just go get my toolbox, all right? Just careful, there's a bucket on the ground over there. Oh, what? When did that, when did that get there? Jackson, I cannot believe you just kicked the bucket. Yeah, literally, but doesn't that mean something? What are you talking about? Like, kicked the bucket, like that means something. Yeah, it's a phrase, dude. What are you saying? Actually, Michael, Jackson, it's an idiom. How'd you get in here? Who are you? No need to worry about that. I'm only here to help. Okay. Well, not a great time. Um, have a leaky faucet, so I'm gonna fix that. And that's a big part of the story. What story? What story? The idiom, kick the bucket. You know, it's a phrase that means something totally different than its literal meaning. I don't understand. Well, the phrase comes from Jackson's Oxford Journal of 1788. The story of John Marshfield is told that he wrapped a cord around his neck, standing on a bucket, fixed it to the beam above him, then kicked the bucket a considerable distance from under him, ending his own life. God, that is not what I wanted to hear on a Friday morning. But there's another potential source of this idiom. In 1870, editions of the book Dictionary of Phrase and Fable described a bucket as a pulley, and pigs would be hung by their hind legs and killed. Wow, you are just a mountain of joy. Thank you. I'm all about helping you guys learn the meaning of kick the bucket. Now that you know it means to die. Well, you know what? I'm really glad I learned something today. What about you, Jackson? <laughs> yeah, definitely, Michael. But when is she going to leave? I don't know. Maybe she'll just, like, exit? I don't think she's going to go. Maybe she has to say, like, a certain text. And that's today's episode of What, what an, an Idiom. idiom.